The other day we were talking about the importance of a good spiritual reading. We were also quoting Father Thomas Dubé who said that busy people only have enough time to read the best books. So get in the habit of good spiritual reading. Maybe you could read half hour every day. Find the time. How important it is. What are the benefits then of a good spiritual reading? A lot of people today suffer from what is called mental laziness. We do not exercise our mind. Sitting down and spending a half hour on a daily basis doing some serious spiritual reading can start to form a really strong mind and that will spark very firm and strong convictions. Another would be this is that in the past 50 years there's, there's been a real lack of catechetical formation in which we have a couple generations of Catholics, Christians, that really don't know their faith. So good spiritual reading can help us to learn the basics of our faith. Do this on a daily basis for a year, you're going to notice a real change in your knowledge of the pearl of infinite Christ, which is our Catholic faith. Next is, uh, when you do a good spiritual reading, I notice in my life then your prayer life is enriched. When you go to, to pray, then you have these holy, noble thoughts in your mind, which can seep into your heart and can be turned into prayer. Another is this, is that the Holy Father Pope Francis, in his document, The Joy of the Gospel, insists that we're called to share the joy of the gospel to the whole world. You can't give what you don't have. So if you don't know your faith, you can't share your faith with others. So by doing some good spiritual reading, you're educating yourself so that you can educate others. And especially with parents. Parents are the primary educators of the faith for their children. This is taught by Gaudium et Spes, one of the dogmatic constitutions of Vatican II, as well as the Catechism of the Catholic Church on the Fourth Commandment. Parents have the obligation to share their faith with their children as the first teachers. This will come about when the parents are better, better educated in their own faith. And also, by doing some good spiritual reading, it serves as an apologetical tool. Apologetics doesn't mean I apologize, but rather as a means to defend your faith. So we strongly recommend that we get in the habit of some good spiritual reading. And there are many reasons. So why not start today doing some good spiritual reading?